state capital of Utah dramatically lit up on a beautiful night in Salt Lake City. It's game three of the Western Conference quarterfinals all tied at 1-1. If the first two games mean anything, we should be in for a heck of a series. Tonight, we'll see the Utah Jams as they play against the Houston Rockets. Welcome everyone to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. DA, take it away. Well, the Utah Jazz tries to keep their players happy by financially incentivizing them. Contract bonuses include on-the-court performance, physical fitness, and off-season workouts. The team's general manager said, to be a significant program, we need to be great defensively and with individual development. The bonuses are created with those goals in mind. Kevin? Thanks, DA. Here's the starting group for Houston. Tucker and Capella are up front. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. And it's Green in at the three. And for the Jams, Mitchell and Bogdanovich. They're the wings. Inside, we have Ingles and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the one spot. And it's going to be the Jazz off the tip. Pass to Ingles. Six to shoot. Here's Mitchell. It's rebounded by Houston. They lost their last game on Tuesday. Bad outing offensively. You, you break that game down, their issues were pretty clear. Well, there's too many empty possessions. I mean, they struggle to keep any kind of momentum going. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Harden. And off the front, and in it goes. Even a blind squirrel finds an acorn once in a while, right? I did not think that. Westbrook passes to Harden. <laughs> Offensive rebound. And the layup's good off the glass. Look, but he's not killing you on the perimeter. He's doing it inside. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Utah. It's a three-point game. He kicks to Mitchell. Takes a three. Rebounded by Tucker. The Rockets have gone two or three here to start off the game. Harden can't hit. Yeah, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. A baseline J, and he connects with the jumper. Mitchell's got his second best. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number calls early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offense. A shot's good from Westbrook. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. And it's in there. Oh. Such a field shot there, the floater. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Conley. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, there's the feed to Gobert. Over Westbrook, and Gobert with the basket on the assist by Conley. And it's a tie ball game. Oh, the floor's general skills of Conley. I mean, he has a fantastic feel for when his teammates need the rock. Capella has to Harden. From deep, Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. So Utah ends up going with a new group. Moutier, pass to Green. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. 
Oh, that's some skill on that assist. I mean, the timing has to be perfect on the lead pass. Pass to McLemore. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, and McLemore is a total genius when it comes to tricking the D. So good at how he goes up into the contact on the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Good for McLemore. Ah, uh, the former Jayhawk McLemore, a gifted scorer who can really light it up in a hurry. And McLemore drops them both. Jazz have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Moutier looking around. Six on the shot clock. Now the pass to Green. Over Rivers. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Houston's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. He's now one for two with that bucket. These buckets help Rivers get going. The defense can't allow him to get comfortable from there. Exum kicks to Green. 52 seconds left to play here in the first. O'Neal against Chandler. Trying to get open is Davis. Tries again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Utah shooting their first free throws of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. up missing both free throws two for one opportunity here if they want it. and no doubt Kevin if I'm them I go for it McLemore dishes to Rivers and out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession and it's Moutier with the ball he brings it up for Utah trailing by two Six to shoot. From deep three-point range, and still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Back it's ahead, up two. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. One of the better two-way guards in the NBA, Mike Conley said his inspiration growing up was none other than Gary Payton. He was one of my favorite players growing up. Um, I had Gary Payton jersey, had the shoes, everything. So when I looked at a player, I was like, you know, he plays on both ends. I want to be able to do that too. And you know, Conley, maybe not the size of Payton, but Greg, he's always taken the challenge defensively. And you can see how much of an influence the glove had on Conley. He plays a lot like him on that end. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what do you think? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition 
at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams. But they did it very well. Davis is out there with Green. Then it's O'Neal. Then it's Epsom. And it's Moutier in at the two spot. That's the group for Utah getting going here in the second. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Davis, the pass to Exum, and he gets the bucket. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play. He gets the finish. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight for the Jazz. Gobert, he's checked in for Green. Joe Ingles comes in for O'Neal. And Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier. And a switch here also for Houston. James Harden, he's What's checked up? in for Ben McLemore. That one misses. Houston leading by four. High arcing shot. Count the basket. Harden's got his second basket of the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Here's Ingles. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Tyson Chandler. The Jazz have been unsuccessful at the line so far. 0 of 3 and looking to make their first free throw of the game right now. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. A different look for Utah. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Davis. And it's Conley in for Exum. Houston with a big group substitution here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Chandler. P.J. Tucker comes in for Daniel House. Gerald Green, he's checked in for Gordon. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Austin Rivers. He hits the second from the line. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. And here's Westbrook from the arc in the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. Pass to Conley. Shoots it up. They grab their own miss. Gobert can't hit. Very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lane. Harden inside the three-point line. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would tonight. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. <laughs> and here's Green. He'll bring it up for Houston. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. No good with the triple. Jazz trail by eight. Here's Bogdanovich. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Oh, what hustle from Harden. Just sprinting down the floor in transition. Finding a great shot as a result. Now Conley kicks to Mitchell. Back to Conley. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Four on the shot clock. Bucket is good. Yeah, Kevin, he's so tricky, unpredictable. You never know what Conley is going to do in the screen and roll. Conley against Westbrook. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz.
just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Conley. Sweet little floater. Conley's got six points. A real weapon of Conley's. I mean, he has a floating jump shot down the path. It's almost dark. Westbrook, it's good. The assist that time from Harden. Westbrook's got the lead back up to 10 now for the Rockets. Harden against Mitchell. Takes the 13 footer. Utah gets it back. Gobert can't hit. Seems like he changed his mind halfway through the layup. Tried to go to something else and, and flat out choked it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. And that's a gift if I've ever seen. They've got to communicate much better out there. For the Jazz. Green, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Moutier in for Mitchell. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for the Rockets. McLemore has come in for James Harden. And it's Green with the jam. Dang, Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up the road. Westbrook against Conley. Rebounded by the Jazz. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. Got it, and the Houston League has been cut down to just six points in the bucket from O'Neal. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Or three, Westbrook. Another miss by Houston. Jazz have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Got that one up quick. Nine points for Conley. Houston leading by three. This one for three. O'Neal with the rebound. They get away with it here, but that's not a shot you should ever be given. Count that one. Conley's got nine points in the quarter. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Austin McLemore. Outside Gordon. Just five to shoot. Outside Westbrook. Another miss by Westbrook. Here's O'Neal. Here's Moutier. And again, it's Utah. Good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. And so it's Mike Conley making highlights for the Utah Jams. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that there's nobody that can stay in front of you? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I put a lot of work in in the summertime. But I'm very confident. That is never a problem for you, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Round one action of the playoffs continuing on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Well, for the Jazz, the first two games of this series were evenly split, and the first half of this game followed suit. They're still searching for that for edge that will give them the upper hand here in game three. It has become quite the series. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Jazz? They were really efficient on offense. She had the basketball well, great shot selection. That accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, they were very inconsistent from behind the arc. Well, the first half they shot, let me check my stats, uh, in the low 30s, they won't get it done. Good news is they're still in it. I like to see them push the ball up court faster and try to get some open looks. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Russell Westbrook really making a difference here. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Proving once again why he's considered a clutch talent in this league, rising to the occasion. 
And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Taking a look at the Rockets. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backboard. Tucker and Capella are up front. And it's Green in at the small forward position. Mitchell, this is to come. Back to Mitchell. Over Harden. And again, it's Utah. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Westbrook surveying the D. And the dunk by Capella. Uh, the main strength of Capella's offensive game, I mean, he uses his athleticism to power home these alley -oops. Conley against Westbrook. A double team Conley. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Inside, Gobert, and slam dunk by Gobert. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. They've been looking at a single offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. Just over a minute and a half play here in the third. Nice ball movement by Utah. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. Dante Exum comes in for Michael Conley. The Rockets also changing it up. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Capella. Manuel House comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. And it's Green missing. And it's Exum with the ball who will bring it up for the Utah Jams. The lead is two. And the basket by Ingles. I love Bogdanovich's ability to put the team first. But when he sees one of his guys open, he's a willing ball mover. Another miss by Houston. Oh, the defense with no impact at all. Just didn't have the feel for his jump shot. Here's Mitchell. Great tee that time from Green. It's trailed by four. He kicks it to Hart. Floats one. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And there's the call. Utah the foul. Well, and for a guard, Harden does a ton of damage inside, especially how he gets these foul calls close to the basket. Shoot two. No good on the free throw. No, there's one aboard that Harden is one. I, I think we can pretty much say for sure he'll never win again and that's six man of the year it's hard to believe there was ever a time this man wasn't the star the Rockets making a switch here Gordon's checked in good on the second free throw here's Exum second half of play and we're three minutes into the third here and looks like the illegal kick was set yep that's right that'll get their attention last thing they want to be doing right now Giving away possession. Turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. For the Jams, O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Moutier in for Mitchell. And here's Rivers. He has six. Here's Gordon. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Exum deciding where to go with it. Ingles up top. 
Passes it to O'Neal. Four on the clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one's on Eric Gordon. The Jazz shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Michael Conley, he's checked in for Emmanuel Moutier. And the second free throw, good. Rockets trail by four. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Robbed up there for Chandler. An emphatic L.U. jam. Well, when you draw this much attention from the D, you know someone's bound to be left open. It hard finds him. Conley for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So Houston will take it the other way. For the tie, it's Harden with the drive, and it's good on the way in. Harden's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. Conley the pass to O'Neal. Now, Exum. Ingles with the ball. Just five on the clock. Shot on the wing. Conley's shot is off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. So they take the lead. Harden's got 11. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Utah calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. The defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure coach is going to let them know that. For the Jams, Rudy Gobert is checked in for Royce O'Neal, and Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Exum. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Rockets. Down the kicks to Mitchell. Over Harden. Another miss by Utah. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. A two-point game. Fades back. Rebounded by the Jazz. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Capella. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, I mean, really, Capella is a handful for the defense. I mean, at times, you got to follow him. Rockets have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Six foot ten center from Switzerland. I mean, Capella, he's become a nightly double double threat. He's a strong big man. Houston making some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Chandler. And it's Russell Westbrook in for James Harden. All three throws good from Capella. There's 45 seconds left in the third. And if they're thinking, they can get a two-for-one here. You just have to manage the clock correctly. Or sometimes it's easier said than done if you also want to get a good look. Here's Davis, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Four three, Westbrook. The Rockets with another miss. Jazz have gone even five of ten on shot attempts in the third. Now here's Mitchell. Six points for him. Outside Conley. It's good from long range. Conley's got 14 points for the game. Oh, Time and precision. Conley's ready to fire as soon as the ball hit his hands. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Jazz lead by one. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports.
Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. But it's also called making a good read. Understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Rudy Gobert is out there with Davis, and it's Bogdanovich in its small forward. That's the group right now for Utah. And the pass to Davis. Banked in off the glass. Well, in terms of size, that's a mismatch he'll exploit every time, especially inside. Westbrook passes to Green. No good from outside. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Mr. Gobert, back to Conley. Shot clock at six. Outside Bogdanovich. Over Gordon, and the shot is long. Rockets trail by three. Green kicks to West. Off target from outside. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Here's Davis, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got three assists in the game. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for two starts from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Rockets. And he's been trying to do it all himself, and, and it's not working. Instead of forcing shots, you got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody involved. Line. Let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, over that last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, we're a disaster. Tighten it up. Kevin will see if they can close out on their shoes a little more effectively. Thanks so much, David. Now, he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Green, the pass to Westbrook. Looking for Gobert. He gets it there. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Bogdanovich. Here's Conley. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Look, he's just a depth of reading situations. Conley is just a terror on the floor. And it opens up for him. And here's Westbrook from the arc. I mean, with all these three pointers he's missed in the first half, I mean, he's come way the run. Somebody tell him he's got to be more unselfish. Some great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. We're just trying to prevent the opposition from getting comfortable. Next time, that one might get picked. James Harden, he's checked in for the Rockets. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And Westbrook, here we go. Offensive struggles continue missing again. He's been cold and it's been hurting him. And D, I mean, he's ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. And the basket by Ingles. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now a timeout called by Houston. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. Chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Michael Conley. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots. And, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. With a chance to take command in this series, he did everything. That is the kind of killer instinct you need in the playoffs. On defense, the Jazz. 
They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. As to Mitchell, the tray, and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Trying to break that ice cold streak. The offensive rebound. Count that one. And it's six points for Clint Capella. And with that basket, he puts a stop to the 13 nothing run there by the Jazz. The drive by Mitchell. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You see this all too often. You have to be willing to play. Back to Westbrook. There's the triple. Trains it from beyond the arc. Westbrook's got 19 points. He'll do some damage if they give him that shot. Don't give him a clean look. Get out there on him. Harden against Mitchell. And Capella sends it back. Seems to improve his shot blocking every year. I mean, Capella is outstanding at using his lift to swat away shots. Conley against Harden. And it's Conley penetrating. And then Mitchell with the dunk. And game three will go into record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight. And an important win for the Jazz. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Mike Conley. What a teammate he was tonight, setting guys up for layups and open jumpers over what seemed like heavy possession. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Now, something going wrong with the D out there. He's uh, one of the guys you got to be worried about on the perimeter. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. And the Jazz lead by 14. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of a series, Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Rudy. This is a defense first team. And you picked it up in the second half. What changes did you make at the half? Uh, I feel like we were focused in the first half defensively, and uh, we just have to come back and communicate and just be focused, you know, and that's what we did. Attention to detail, Rudy. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.